Hey gang, welcome to an extremely impromptu video. So today here in North Texas, we have had some crazy weather. At 1.30 today, we had the total eclipse, which was absolutely wild. I, it got completely dark, the street lights cut on, automatic headlights on cars were turning on, driving down the street, never seen anything like it. And tonight, they are predicting baseball size hail for this area. So last year I posted a YouTube short on my hell protector and I got a lot of comments because the thing is big and silver and it looks like a giant caterpillar. However, they work really well. But I got a new one uh, this year for this truck and it's actually black, it's their newer model. And I gotta tell you folks, they're, they're huge. They, they look silly when you set them up. Neighbors drive past you looking like you're insane, which they do here a lot anyway, but they actually work. So I'm gonna put this thing on my truck tonight because I don't want baseball size hail hitting this truck in the event. My solar panels in the backyard are not gonna fare as well if that happens, but I'm gonna put you folks on a time lapse of me trying to get this thing on my truck. I'm probably gonna have to get my wife to come help me though, because getting it above that rooftop tent is gonna be a little difficult because you gotta start from the back and pull it up over the front of your vehicle. But I'm gonna try it and see if we can get it at least somewhat on. And then I'm gonna kind of show you how this thing works because I didn't really explain that in my YouTube short. I just showed you a picture of it when it was on, but yeah, let's see if we can get this thing on without uh, it blowing away like a parachute. No doubt in my mind that people think I'm absolutely crazy, but the hardest part was getting it over that, that the rooftop tent. Once you get it over that, you just kind of pull it over the truck and it's not too bad to put on now. This thing has, has a drawstring that goes all the way around it and it comes out to this little pull tab right here. Now you essentially just have to cinch this thing down and you got to make sure that the front tires, that tarp is below the bottom half of the front tire right here. And that's essentially what holds it on. And I'll tell you folks, my, my last uh, silver hail protector held up to around 60 mile an hour winds. And that's all that's holding it on is the truck is kind of wrapping it around the bottom part of the tire. So I'm going to get this thing cinched up and then I'll show you how to power it and kind of how long it takes to air up. And you can see these straps here, there and there on the bigger SUV models like this, it comes with underbelly straps for cars, but on these bigger models, you don't want to put those on actually because it has the risk of actually tearing this off. So in the instructions it states, do not use the underbelly straps to connect it because that's not what holds this thing on the car. It's the cinch cord that goes around the entire vehicle. That's what holds it on. So guys, I'm going to get this thing plugged up and show you how you can power it because there's several different ways that you can power these fans. So it comes with an AC adapter that you can plug straight into the wall, which is how I do it. I run it through my garage and plug it into my power station. Um, but you can actually run the extension cord. It comes with a DC adapter. So you can plug it into the back of the fan unit and then in a pinch, run this into your car and plug it into your cigarette lighter and you can power it that way. And it also comes with this guy. It's a little double A battery pack. And this is good for about one hour of those fans running. So in an absolute pinch, you can use this. But for me, since I've got quite a few power stations, I just plug it into my power station in case I actually have power outage here. It keeps those fans running. So I don't really like to plug it into my home AC outlet just in case uh, we do have power loss. So I'm gonna run this. Let me show you how it works. So you have four fans, one, two, three, four and I've got to put some rain covers. It comes with a little four little rain covers that go over these, but, but it's got an SAE connector right here that's routed through this hail protector and you plug it in to this guy. Then I'm going to run it through my garage door, kind of close my garage door down on this wire so rain doesn't get into my garage and power it up with the power station. So let's get that done. Okay, so I got my extension cord here. And you guys haven't seen this yet. This is part of my new solar setup for my house. So first time seeing this guy, but I'm going to plug it in to my Blue Eddy here. And uh, watch it go. So I can hear those fans kick on now. So it takes, I don't know, it is 
Let me get a timer. Let me get my phone. I will say though, that that black is much less obnoxious than that aluminum foil colored silver one that I had last year. But it'll probably take around 10 minutes until this thing gets fully inflated, 10 to 15 minutes. And then I'm gonna put those rain covers on the back of the of these fans to protect it. But it's already starting to kind of air up. And once it gets aired up, I'll be able to stick that that uh, DC plug kind of up underneath it out of the rain. <laughs> oh, to be my neighbors. And just in case you're curious, those fans take 97 watts to air up that hail protector. Growing and growing. There's about a good three, three and a half feet from the truck to the outside edge of this hell protector. So you have a big bubble of protection, but I don't even think we're halfway through yet. So we're about seven minutes in. It's getting close to being done, but I'm gonna go ahead and put on these rain covers over these uh, fans. There's little pegs in here, you just turn them and they lock in. There you go. That took, didn't take quite as long as I thought. That took less than 10 minutes. I don't know if that's gonna come through out here in the sun, but we're nine minutes exactly in. And this thing's pretty much aired up. And besides from all the crazy looks I'm getting, this thing, I'm telling you what guys, it is worth its weight in gold. There is a lot of protection between the Hellstone and my truck now. And it's just holding on by this drawstring that goes around the entire vehicle. That's nice and tight now around the back of my tire. in the front <laughs> so hopefully well not hopefully but if we do have nas nasty weather and some crazy wind i'll come out here and show you folks what it looks like but this is how we protect the trucks here in north texas Well, gang, it is the next day. You can see that it is still holding up fine. It's still really windy out here. Uh, and last night, it got put through the test. We had no hail, luckily, but the, it was just whipping around. I think we had winds up to around 45, 46 miles an hour here. So I left it on overnight because you do want this thing to dry out completely before you take it off and put it back in the storage bag. But we're also could be having some more potential severe weather here today. So I've just kind of kept it on the truck. It is dried out now. But I was kind of hoping the wind, you could see the wind flapping around while I was doing this. But, but anyway, guys, it works. It's ugly. It's big. But it protects your vehicle if you can't park it under any structure. And being here in Texas, guys, we get a lot of hailstorms here this time of the year. And this is just a good little piece of insurance to have for your vehicle, you know, if you can't park it underneath any kind of, any kind of cover. I'll leave a link for the website for the hail protector if you're interested. So anyway, gang, I'm going to wrap it up here. That's it. That's the hail protector. It works. <laughs> but my neighbors think I'm crazy. So we'll see you soon, gang. Thanks for watching.